In May 2023, a strange space incident shocked NASA as Voyager 1-foot-S system began acting weird near the stars. Its attitude control system, used to point the antenna toward Earth, started sending back garbled data through the sky. Engineers stared at their screens in confusion, since Voyager 1's signal from deep space was still stable. Everything on the spacecraft seemed normal, but the data from the AACS looked like cosmic gibberish. It was as if the spacecraft had lost its voice, speaking nonsense through the vast void. Oddly, the scientific instruments were working well, scanning deep space while staying silent. The fault system, made to signal danger in the cosmos, didn't trigger anything at all. NASA's team launched a full investigation, scanning commands from the orbiting machine. Eventually, they found that data was rerouted through an old and unused computer onboard. Engineers quickly sent new commands through space, directing it to use the correct system. The problem was fixed, but the deeper cause behind the strange behavior remains unknown among the stars. NASA believes that a corrupted command, maybe due to space radiation or aging circuitry, caused the glitch. Though it didn't risk the mission, it reminded everyone how fragile these old spacecraft are in deep space. Voyager 1's memory is tiny, only 70 kilobytes, less than a cheap digital watch. Still, it has run for nearly 50 years, braving the darkness far from Earth. In deep space, high-energy cosmic rays bombard electronics constantly, trying to damage the delicate circuits. Susan Dodd from NASA said such anomalies are expected in this alien environment. No spacecraft has ever survived this long, flying through the cold and endless cosmos. Even with its limits, the Voyagers made some of the biggest discoveries in space history. Voyager showed that Jupiter, once seen as calm, is full of storms, rings, and auroras. Saturn's rings turned out to be a complex web of fine ringlets, not simple belts in the sky. On Io, Jupiter's moon, Voyager found active volcanoes, erupting fire into the black void. On Triton, a moon of Neptune, it saw geysers of nitrogen burst from the icy surface. One of its deepest gifts came from a picture, not from any scientific tool. In 1990, Voyager 1 looked back from 6 billion kilometers and photographed the pale blue dot. Earth appeared as a tiny speck, caught in a sunbeam across the endless space. That photo reminded us how small and fragile we are in this infinite universe. Since crossing into interstellar space, both Voyagers have kept sending faint signals. Voyager 1's radio waves now take 22 hours to reach Earth across the void. Voyager 2, just a bit closer, takes 19 hours, whispering through deep darkness. The Deep Space Network, a global system of antennas, catches these far-off transmissions. Voyager's success was made possible by a rare planetary alignment in the solar system. This alignment let NASA use gravity assists to slingshot between planets like a cosmic dance. Thanks to this method, the journey to Neptune, which could take 30 years, only took 12. Although the mission was scaled back due to budget cuts, the discoveries amazed scientists. Voyager 2 became the first to visit Uranus in 1986, and Neptune in 1989 zooming by the cold giants. These flybys gave us our only close views of those ice worlds, changing how we see the outer solar system. But those visits were only the start of their voyage into the unknown. In 2013, Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space, where the sun's influence fades into the void. It was like stepping from a warm room into a freezing, silent cosmic wilderness. In 2018, Voyager 2 followed, crossing that boundary at 17.7 billion kilometers from the Sun. Now, only the Voyagers have gone beyond the heliopause, past the solar wind's bubble. By measuring this edge, scientists learn about our solar environment's limits. The heliopause isn't smooth, it twists and moves with the pressure of the interstellar gas. Voyager helped prove that this edge is a dynamic barrier that constantly shifts like a cosmic wave. Beyond it, Voyager detected cosmic rays, high-energy particles rushing through space. It was like stepping from a quiet alley into a highway of radiation flashing in the dark. These discoveries are compared with newer probes like NASA's IBEX, floating near the edge. In 2023, Voyager 1 detected a strange, low-frequency hum, 
a vibration in the interstellar gas. It wasn't silence, but a whisper of the void, echoing softly in the black expanse. Nicola Fox of NASA called Voyager's results transformational for solar science. The fact that they still function, despite being powered by decaying plutonium, is truly incredible. As power drops, NASA shuts down non-essential systems, including heaters on the craft's body. Against all odds, five science instruments still work, enduring the freezing space. In 2014, Ibex found bright particles near the heliopause, lighting up like fireworks. Combined with sudden position shifts, this suggested that Voyager 1 entered interstellar space early. Despite being launched only weeks apart, Voyager 1 may have crossed before Voyager 2. These contradictions have puzzled scientists and challenged ideas about where the solar system ends. Then came a stunning announcement from Bill Nye, a science icon on the world stage. Voyager 1 had detected 300 unknown objects drifting in interstellar space. The world asked, are these rogue planets? Brown dwarfs? Or something we've never seen before? These mysteries shook the astronomy world, leaving us in awe of the dark heavens. Now, nearly five decades later, the Voyagers still travel in silence through the black sea of stars. Their journey is a symbol of human ingenuity and our reach across the universe. Every signal they send becomes a gift for future generations, cataloged from the deep void. New missions, like NASA's IMAP in 2025, will follow their trail into cosmic mystery. But none of it would be possible without these pioneering spacecraft, still flying through the night.